are working developing news tonight. Eight Rhode Islanders are arrested in a child porn sweep. The arrests follow a two to three month state police investigation dubbed Operation Iceberg. It involves suspects from eight different Rhode Island communities highlighted right here on the Pinpoint News Tracker. Police tell us more arrests are possible. Eyewitness News reporter Mara Kennedy joins us live now from state police headquarters with the developing details. The undercover investigation was called Operation Iceberg because officers tell me the initial arrest of the suspects plus the discovery of child porn was just the tip of the iceberg in this investigation. It's a proud day for Rhode Island law enforcement as they gather at state police headquarters to make a big announcement Tuesday. The result of the execution of those search warrants was the arrest of eight individuals for possession of child pornography and transfer of child pornography. Numerous images and videos of child pornography were located on digital media located within the houses. Investigators say anywhere between 20 and 100 child porn images and materials were found on computers, iPads, cell phones, and other devices in the suspects' homes. Police arrested a total of eight suspects from throughout the state, ranging in ages from 18 to 72, after a two- to three-month-long operation. Police say the child victims range in ages and say suspects had no known links to the child victims and luckily do not work in professions that involve kids. Police tell us it does not appear that the suspects know each other and there could be more arrests through tips and their continuous undercover investigations. We look through uh, the internet for um, child pornography, people who are sharing pirate child pornography. Many of the suspects appeared in court this afternoon and were charged with possession of child pornography and transfer of child pornography, which are felony charges and could face 10 to 15 years behind bars. Reporting live with the Northwest Mobile Newsroom, Mark Kennedy, Eyewitness News.